here at VITU Studios in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Leo Lehman, Chairman of Study Group 13 on Future Networks, IMT 2020, and Cloud. Leo, thank you very much indeed for joining us here today. Thank you very much for being here. <laughs> so could you please explain to our viewers a little bit about your study group's work on future networks and where we might see this technology at play in our daily lives? First of all, scope of study group 13 covers three very big and important areas for ITUT. First is IMT 2020, you mentioned it. Secondly, it is cloud computing and big data. You miss big data, but it, big data is a very important part we have beside cloud computing. And thirdly, it's trusted networks or trust. Coming back to IMT 2020, I think it has the biggest focus in other uh, communities. It's called 5G. And um, we have started now work on the, during our l recent study group meeting uh, defining the first delivery packages for this year and for next year that will cover architectural view, will cover softwareization, orchestration, and will also cover aspects of trust. So let's say we have the future of standards work, uh, you know, largely driven by uh, 5G and trust. Is uh, trust something that can be standardized, and how do you develop technical standards for trust? Okay, good question. <laughs> I'm not sure whether my answer is so good so far. Uh, trust is a very important aspect for our future networks, not only for 5G. It's for all networks, and uh, it's based on the fact that networks become more and more complicated and, without, and complex, and without trust uh, or means of trust implemented uh, in, in the networks, you won't be able really to succeed with, with future applications that require that the users are, have trust in the application and the network on which the applications are running. Considering trust, I think if you look at the meaning in, a, in, a, in, in, in normal life, trust is something, when I tell I trust you, I mean that I believe in your correctness, in your integrity, <laughs> in your truth. And that's the first step. What we have to do now, we have to transform this into technical means. Mm -hmm. Means security, re reliability, dependability. Study Group 13 has already done here first uh, important uh, steps during last study period by defining technical terms of trust with uh, currently still, uh, let's say, a little bit more refined with uh, our colleagues from Study Group 17, they have the lead on uh, security. And in parallel, we also develop here or have an our plan uh, to develop recommendations related to trust that have a focus on trustworthy architectures or network architectures, as well as also trust in the area of cloud computing and big data. And speaking of big data, you, you mentioned that earlier. Um, you know, what's the relationship between big data and cloud, and what are some of the key standards that your group has developed in these areas? Yeah, so, so first of all, the big data and cloud, so cloud uh, is a mean in order to realize big data as a service. On the other, other side, a cloud is dealing with big data, so big data is all an aspect included in uh, the standardization of cloud. And in this purpose we have, in this aspect, sorry, we have developed um, already recommendations that exactly, in, and much more precisely than I do it now here in this interview, define this and, and explain the relationship between big data and cloud. Uh, and like I said, big data as a service will be very, very important. That may be also help 
uh, for uh, applications related to 5G uh, verticals like IoT, very important there. Then, in general, big, big data-driven networking is a very important aspect there where we start now first work items and we expect here recommendations within the next, yeah, I would say, 24 months. Mm -hmm. And, you know, an important part of your work uh, leading towards 2020 is, you know, supporting innovation in uh, 5G wireline networking. Um, what are some of uh, your achievements in this area? That's what you mentioned here. That's exactly the focus we have. Uh, you know, 5G is very big and 5G has a strong mobile part and uh, radio part. Indeed, radio part is done by ITUR. The mobile part... Uh, will be uh, done partly with us, but I think we cannot uh, uh, close our eyes that industry uh, is doing here a lot although in 3GPP, but exactly the wireline part, mm. the wireline access. That is this part where uh, we expect uh, our deliverables, and as I s mentioned already in the beginning of the interview, when I talk about architecture uh, and uh, recommendations on softwareization, I have a strong and fixed mobile convergence. I have a strong mo focus here on the wireline part of 5G IMT2020 networks. And like I said, I expect here all the cooperation with other STOs because it's an issue that uh, our members of Study Group 13 are involved in several groups, so it's important that we have a coordination and harmonization between these groups. For this purpose, we have also established a uh, JCA of IMT 2020 in order to secure that these parts, these wireline part developments, are done in good coordination and positive coordination with other STOs in order to uh, achieve here with big success. Like I said, first deliveries within the next eight to 24 months. And, you know, we're here at the beginning of a, a four-year study period, and, y you know, the, y the work of your group co covers many topics. Are, are there any other topics that you'd like to, to highlight for the next four years? I think uh, what, uh, what, what, what will be an important area is uh, in, in cloud, uh, everything as a service, for instance, then uh, further developments in, in trusted uh, networks. But we should also not forget uh, we have a question, so-called question, our called question five in study group uh, 13 dealing with uh, IMT for developing countries, or it was an old name, I think the new name, I forgot now, how about this, uh, it's related to innovations and networking for developing countries, and I think uh, the to support them, that will be a big, big uh, goal and for, our, for us, and a big commitment for myself as a chairman of this group for the next four years. Mm -hmm. and, and what would be some of the, the challenges that these countries have that uh, would require, you know, special specifications or, or new, new, new work, let's say? That is what we try. I can't tell you today, mm -hmm. but uh, based on a contribution we received at the last meeting, we have started exactly to analyze by question five, by the experts, uh, of uh, developing countries because this question is based on members who come from Africa uh, or in, in other developing countries to analyze which topics are in, in important for them and based on this we uh, will ask then our experts, our reporters and editors to develop in parallel to for, uh, for establish by establishing standards we all ask them to develop appropriate guidelines mm -hmm. for uh, the developing countries. Well, very interesting, and uh, I'd like to thank you for your time, and I would like to wish you the best of luck with your new study period. Thank you so much.